everyone, it's me, Leia from HigherCrystalHealing.com and thank you so much for watching. And in this video I wanted to talk to you about Western medicine, friend or foe. <laughs> and um, oftentimes I come across people who don't know whether they should try to heal themselves spiritually and or try to go towards modern medicine. And um, my answer is always just why not do both if you can um, because there's a lot of good sides to Western medicine that we often think of like the corrupt side or the the side where um, they try to make so much money or you know whatever it is and how the spiritual side is like is spiritual healing and it's good and it's pure and of course um, but I feel like why not take the best of both worlds? Um, I don't feel like you need to shun it by any means. And the reason why I say this is this, is I find that most people try to shun Western medicine because they feel like um, it's doing harm to their bodies or they don't, um, they don't think it's necessary or they think people are trying to harm them by giving them these medications or these vaccines and for me i i have to get vaccinated at my job it's mandatory um so instead of giving my power away to the vaccine and saying no i don't want to take it i refuse you know i'll get a different job or something which you know i could do but I feel like I don't want to give my power away to that kind of thought pattern. I don't want to say, no, this vaccine is more powerful than my body or more powerful than me or anything like that. So what I do, for instance, is I need to take vaccines. And so what I do is I'll ask to see my vaccine. I'll hold it, you know, the flu vaccine or whatever vaccine they give you. And I'll send Reiki to it. I'll send energy to it. And they're not going to deny you. They're not going to be like, no, you can't see it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, they probably could, but they shouldn't. Um, so this is what I do. And I send that I send love to it I send healing to it and I've noticed personally a significant decrease in the side effects that I would get from it some um, was a time I would be sick um, that year like very badly and now um, I like the past few years I my if I had gotten the flu it's been very very short and, and I've been taking the flu vaccine for years and years now so I'm not gonna say that you know you shouldn't deny flu vaccine but I'm also not gonna say that you should give your power away to it because I feel like that's how you d deny um, the healing ability the natural healing ability in your body is by saying um, I'm gonna be affected by this and of course, this doesn't just apply to vaccines. Um, if you have medications that you need to take, what you can do is um, put that medication bottle in a crystal grid and have your crystal grid send energy to it. Of course, you can send Reiki to it if you know Reiki or send love to it. And um, my favorite way of connecting to deep heart-centered healing, which anybody can do, is to just envision a energy energy coming from the heavens into your heart and then envisioning the earth's energy coming down into all your chakras into your heart so this way you have literally the best of both worlds you have the heavens and the earth energy and that's combining into your heart and then you can think of something that really makes you feel joyful and full of love something that or a person that you really absolutely love and you think of that object or that person or that scenario and you build up that love energy in your heart and just imagine that love energy is being sent to whatever it is whatever medication you want to send it to so there are all sorts of ways you don't have to know Reiki you don't have to be a spiritual practitioner to be able to send love and to send your intention and to send healing vibration to whatever it is that you feel like you want to start um, uh, sending energy to I really feel like both sides can open their minds a little bit more. Um, everyone can be a little bit more open-minded. Um, 
such as doing your research and looking into it, whether, you know, if you're wondering if you love Western medicine and you don't like crystal healing or alternative modalities, look into it more, you know, buy a few crystals and, and see what they have to offer you and just kind of like be open about it. Um, if you're curious, instead of just shunning it and same thing with us, we, we have our part to play too. We can also be open um, to the other side and not feel like we need to be the victims of society or victims of government or victims of medicine or victims, you know what I mean? Um, we don't have to play that role either. So both sides can definitely learn from one another. Um, and as long as you're open-minded and you just keep that, um, you know, you can always trust yourself and trust your intuition and really understand and, um, yeah, instead of just taking everybody else's word for it. So, um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.